So we have our professional victims, Anita and Zoe, both playing the victim. Zoe had sex with a few guys in order to get some positive feedback, and Anita Sarkeesian played the little girl who cried wolf by stating that she has gotten a few tweets that is threatening her and her family, so she has to move. Bullshit, I have to say. The funny thing is, even when people provide evidence proving them to be nothing more than frauds, we still have these sad, stupid white knights who feel like women should be treated with lots of respect in the same way as men, but at the same time, we should be treating them as gods. What a load of bullshit. I hear voices in my head, they count to me, they understand, they talk to me. This is an entirely new low for humanity. Like, first we have Zoe Quinn, who plays the professional victim. You know, she plays this ultra slut in order to gain support for, for her video game or get some positive reviews from game developers or whatever. I, I'm not sure the exact story. I just started looking up Zoe Quinn, you know, because she's not really that much of it you know, doesn't really give me that much interest. It's, you know, all I know is that she created a game called Depression Quest, which I didn't, i be honest, I haven't played yet, but I'm going to try to see if I can get the game. But she slept with five guys, and, you know, those five guys, you know, gave her positive reviews or whatever, and she was being manipulated, and that really pisses me off. You know, this is becoming to the point where we can know that we can no longer trust our fellow women. That women are going to start accusing us for being rapists just by looking at them. If this keeps it up, there's going to be a great massive divide between anti-feminists and feminists. Or just very douchebaggish women with pathetic, stupid white knights on one side, and the rational, same... <coughs> Excuse me. The rational, sane men and women who think that these people are fucking crazy on the other side. I tell you, there, there might even be a massive war, or shootout, or whatever. Call me a conspiracist, but that's just me. And you know, this is just plain wrong. Just simply plain freaking wrong. And like I said before, even when you provide facts, you know, the, he shows screenshots on how Zoe Quinn was talking to some other guy. And, you know, she was clearly chatting with someone on Facebook. Some of the white knights will pass this along the way and be like, you're bullshitting. You know, you're attacking her because she's a woman. Yes, you know, it, the reason that Zoe Quinn is being under attack is not the, the actions he took. It's because... She's a woman. Yes, we should respect our women. Oh, for fuck's sakes. You can't treat a woman with, you know, treat her as like this delicate flower at the same time. Treat her as your equal at the same time. It doesn't work like that. This is the thing that feminists are supposed to be fighting against. And that is special treatment. And Zoe Quinn is getting this special treatment. But no feminist out there has gone out against her. At least not yet. I haven't seen one on YouTube. <sighs> but maybe I haven't been searching hard enough. That's just me. But you know what? Zoe Quinn isn't my biggest target. Because, to me, Zoe Quinn is just a slut. A total fucking slut. 
but it's Anita Sarkeesian that gets my attention because the things that she does, the things that she says are just plain manipulative. She plays, again, the professional victim by stating that she's now being harassed so badly that she needs to move from her house along with her family members and um, go into hiding. The funny thing is, there is no amount of tweets that she has received, that she could receive, that is, you know, legitimately force her to go into hiding. But, you know, let's just set aside that fact. And, you know, just focus on what the actions that she performed. Instead of going to the FBI, like any normal human being, instead, she decides the best way to handle this is to go to Polygon and tell the whole world that she's being harassed so freaking badly that she needs to move. Humanity has officially reached an entirely new low. And Anita Sarkeesian is the very first person to achieve it. Congratulations! What? This, this pretty much proves that Anita Sarkeesian really just enjoys the idea of being quote-unquote harassed. That she knew that she was going to be harassed, that she manipulated people into harassing her so that way she can get the sympathy of major, major news sites such as 2020 and, and, and TNT. I think it's TMT or whatever. And now Ute Nation is also defending her ass. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with people these days? I'm just glad that Jordan Owen and whatever that guy is, that bald guy is, you know, they're trying their very best to raise up money to up uh, to expose Anita Sarkeesian to show the truth on behind both pages. You know, there's two sides of the stories, and so far, the majority of focus is on these social justice warriors. It is amazing on how blind people can be these days. But there's more. You know, as from the earlier screenshot that I took, you know, Anita Sarkeesian actions are very, very questionable. Let me just read from here. As many of you heard by now, Anita Sarkeesian, the now infamous scam artist behind Feminist Frequency, has recently been out, outed for sending herself fake death threats. But, but, but John, how do you know they are fake? 1. The account that sent them used a real name. 2. The account was less than a day old. Three, it's been confirmed that Anita was not on Twitter when the death threats were sent. Four, that Twitter account has zero activity other than death threats. Five, she begged for donations mere minutes before posting about the death threats. Six, the account that sent the tweets mysteriously disappeared when people began asking her why she isn't getting the police involved. 7. Anita outright refuses to get the police involved because it's not necessary, but is willing to get her lackeys on gaming journalism sites to write stories about how she's fleeing, fleeing from her home, excuse, excuse me, fleeing her home because she doesn't feel safe. She's a scam artist and a scumbag. The only reason she did all of this was to get the focus of Zoe Quinn slash Phil Fish and back onto her. This is plain freaking desperate. Really just plain freaking desperate. She doesn't want to get the police involved. The Twitter, the, the guy who posted the Twitter threat, the, the threat on Twitter, mysteriously disappeared. The, um, the account had nothing more but death threats. And it's only a day old, which is very suspicious. Just, I 
find this all very suspicious. And it's not enough that Anita Sarkeesian go on to 4chan to promote her website, when, I mean, promote her video when she knew that 4chan was going to attack her. She knew that she's not really, she been exposed of not being a real gamer by, uh, on one of her past videos where she made, where she stated that she doesn't play video games. And she avoids any forms of criticism whatsoever. It seems to me that Anita Sarkeesian is probably the greatest mastermind behind the greatest mastermind of manipulation. She knows what she was doing. She's just plain outright evil and if i was freaking you know a little rich just a little rich i would donate at least ten thousand dollars to support the the sarkeesian effect the, the movie and there we can you know i could help them you know, get more attention. This needs to stop. Anita Sarkeesian is becoming more and more and more and more manipulative at every freaking second. We need to show um, everyone the news sites and just about any blog that Anita Sarkeesian is in fact just a manipulative bastard, just like Zoe Quinn. And just about any feminist out there on the internet is just plain, flat out manipulative. This, this shit is really starting to get on my nerves. So that is all I have to say for now. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. Hey everyone, it's me, the Atheist Gamer. Uh, you know, I it actually took me some time to figure out how to, you know, create a thumbnail for this video, you know. Uh, I'm not going to say that I'm some sort of master artist, but I will say that, you know, I'm going to try to learn how to draw. You know, I really want to turn myself into a Powerpuff Girl. Well, not a girl, just... You know, you know what I'm talking about. Become a Powerpuff. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I uh, have a Deviant Art page called The Guy Who View Games, which is one of my oldest accounts uh, before I became the Atheist Gamer. And, you know, I'm still active on Deviant Art, but I don't upload art on Deviant Art. Strange, I know. Anyway, uh,. You know, I'll leave a link to my Deviant Art page, and you know, I really want to make a Facebook page. So, I guess uh, as soon as I'm done with my uh, video on the common arguments on feminism, then I'll make a Facebook page, promote myself on Facebook, and then from there on, then. I live my life as a normal YouTuber with a Facebook and Twitter and etc, etc. And, you know, I really do wish that I um, help out Joe and Owen with his um, project. I really want to be a part of this project really freaking badly because I got a tooth to pick with Anita Sarkeesian and all those uh, social justice warriors. It's really just gets under my skin if you enjoy watching this video click on the like button subscribe to this channel for more videos and of course you can follow me on facebook twitter and ugh, google plus we all know google plus fucking sucks